G'day YouTube. Um, just got this spindle motor set up. Bridge rectifier on a heat sink. Yeah, you should put them on a heat sink. They do get quite warm when uh, these things draw about uh, 10 amps or so under full power. Um, got a 4000 watt speed control there. Just a cheap uh, universal speed controller. It's for an AC motor, that's why it's going through the bridge rectifier and uh, you notice this big capacitor there, that's uh, 3300 microfarad, um, 400 volt working DC voltage and uh, we'll just turn him on, a little switch here, this is just a, a test bench, I, I've got a good, I've got a, actually got a good spindle um, Z axis plate for this got a beautiful spindle um i had it fitted to the machine but the the thing was that heavy it uh, burnt the little motor out so i've got to get a bigger a bigger motor just to lift it up and down on the z-axis but we'll turn him on and uh, if i turn it on under uh, under power it uh, trips a breaker so she's pulling a bit of power there we'll turn him up here That's about 24 volts on the meter. We'll go up to 48. But this is an AC-DC overdrive, I'm telling you. There's uh, 47. And uh, yes, Peter, my meter is calibrated. So there you go. Now we'll go into uh, what these motors are rated for, about 180 volts. Now we're going to go into overdrive. Yeah, it loves it. And I'll tell you what, this, this motor, it just chews through the metal. You see I've got a half inch mill, um, end mill there. And that's an ER20 chuck. Uh, this is the motor I'll be using on the big machine. Uh, the smaller motor is going to stay with the uh, little machine. Uh, I quite like having two different machines there. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. You notice there's no uh, acoustic uh, reaction from the coils using the uh, capacitor. Uh, that's acting as a... Uh, well, it's not a filter, it's a smoothing capacitor. And look at that, she's running at 70 volts. We'll pump it up to about 110. Even at 110, that thing will just chew metal like you wouldn't believe. But yeah, we're going to uh, mount this back on the spindle. Now, I, I did have an extension on it, but I had to get it because... Uh, it was just running a muck on me. So now that I've shortened the shaft, I've got the chuck closer to the motor, and I'll probably be fitting a uh, a thrust bearing on top because these are only uh, ball bearings in them. They really need a sorry about that. Really need a bit of uh, modification to uh, be a good spindle motor. But there you go. There's the setup. Catch us next time.